Hello everybody, my name is Kedrum, welcome back for another video of Journey of Wrestling. We're going to continue this series. Uh, we moved on pretty fast. We're already in July, which uh, for our next big pay-per-view. I think it's probably our biggest pay-per-view of the entire year, actually, because it's Eat Wave. I believe Eat Wave is the WrestleMania for ECW. Uh, it's Golden Star, so I imagine that's what it means. Uh, July 2021, uh, I guess. Let's uh, go ahead and do our thing. Uh, we're going to do a rosters, look at our rosters now. Unfortunately, Eddie is still injured for six months. We're going to have to make do without him. We do have a new person in the, on the roster, which is Trish Stratus. Uh, not Trish Stratus, actually, it's, uh, it's Lita. Uh, Lita is our newest addition to the roster. So we're going to have a lot of fun with her. Uh, and we also have Paul Eamon, right? Now we're working on transitioning Paul Eamon into an actual manager right now. He's just a wrestler. I don't want to wrestle him. I don't want him to wrestle or anything. I want him to be a manager. So right now he's just going to stay uh, on the side and not do anything. Uh, last time I don't re actually remember what uh, what we were doing in terms of, um, of matches. So I'm just going to go uh, 1v1 right here. Especially since uh, this I feel like we should probably... Uh, before he gets stellar or anything, before he gets that four star or anything, I think we should probably end this feud up. It's been three months. It's a really high. Uh, people are really into it right now, so I think we should end this feud right away. All right, so we're gonna do a one v one, add a blow off to this one. So one v one blow up. Uh, next up, what we're gonna do here, I guess, is Steve Austin. Do we wanna? Do we want to do anything? I guess. Triple threat, maybe, yeah, I guess a triple threat would be great. So it's always going to be the same people facing off against each other. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, we got to face, though. I kind of need a, a neutral to face them because otherwise it's just going to get boring for the fans or something. I, I, I got a feeling. I don't know yet, boys. I don't know what I gotta, uh, what I want to do. The one thing I do want to do, though, is uh, make sure that so ECW World Television Championship Trish is going to defend our title against one of these guys. Now, it's it's a main pay-per-view, so I got a feeling that uh, it, there, there needs to be at least a feud going on uh, between uh, Trish and somebody else. So, we got to start a feud. So, in order to do that, we don't have a choice but to actually do a 1v1 for this as well. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do uh, Trish versus somebody right here. And uh, since I'm going to be pushing Lita, okay, so I'm, yeah, I don't need to worry about Trish. Who needs to be upgraded right now? Who is the most unhappy one, but the most popular one? I think Rob Van Dam is the one that deserves it the most. Uh, and Trish is a fa is a heel, so we need a face. Yeah, it's either Chris Benoit or Rob Van Dam for this one. So I'm going to take, um, I'll take Rob Van Dam, boys. So that's going to be the feud we're going to be doing for that one. Let's feud it up. Add a feud. Uh, what do we do? I want to do right here. I'm not going to do any of these. I don't want them to turn face and heel. Uh, I, I want them to basically uh, do new challenger. So that's going to be the feud between these two guys. All right. So now that we got that, we can actually... Uh, we're going to start doing stuff, boys. We're going to do uh, actually start asking the, the AI to book the actual show for us. So add matches and segments. And uh, actually do style quality, bizarro, terrible. I'm not going to do terrible. I'm not going to do standard. It's either I'm, go it's either I'm doing uh, long term or quality or bizarro, boys. I kind of want to do bizarro. Bizarro seems like it would be heel versus heel or something like that you would not think about at all. So I kind of want to test it out. Let's test it out. Let's do bizarro. Maximum, let's just do number of matches automatic for now. Let's see what we got. Okay, so this is what uh, this is what they gave us. So they're not booking Lita for this one. It's Paul Eamon that they put in there. So instead of Paul Eamon versus Steamboat, we're just going to do um, Steamboat versus Lita. And uh, that was right there as well. So we're going to put uh, this one, this match between the two, ma uh, like the two championship match matches. This one was an I quit match, so I am going to add a gimmick and get, uh, get the I quit into that uh, stipulation right here. We're going to do it. There we go. So 
This is a night quit match between these two. Very interesting, Lida and Tri Ricky. I think they could have a, definitely a good match between each other. Uh, Jake Roberts and uh, Chris Benoit, a normal match. Same thing for this right here. So we're just having, uh, I guess, right here, some big time stuff going on. And since this is a blow off, we are going to go ahead and do... We're going to do a still, cage, uh, still sell match, boys. That's what we're going to do. Just a still sell. It's a blow off. So I want a, a big time event for that one. So still sell match. I think that's going to be uh, good uh, on its own. Now we got to do into, uh, go into production. Do uh, the, the regular stuff. So main event package. Just like that. Up the main event even further. And the next thing I want to do. I kind of actually want. Alita's having her debut right. So let's uh, let's boost our debut up a little bit right here. Boost our popularity. So. A uh, debut for uh, Lita. Let me just see real quick. There we go, Lita. There we go, debut. So we're going to have a, a little bit of a package right here, right before her match and stuff. So that's what we're going to do. This is what it looks like, boys. Let's hop on in, have a little bit of fun. Obviously, um, Paul Eamon's not going to wrestle. I don't want him to wrestle, boys. I want him to be a manager. So next month, he should be able to be uh, managing anybody I want. Which is going to be fantastic. So we're just going to do that. But for right now, let's just hop on into the pay-per-view right away. And have some fun right here. So Eat Wave, our next pay-per-view, boys. Looking to be a really good one. We've got Lita on the board as well. So already you can see. These are the people. Every time you see a pay-per-view, these are the important ones. The people that uh, guys are, the, the fans are interested in. All right. So that's what we want to see. So... The fans actually want Sting to win the title. So they want Ric Flair's uh, reign to end. That's an interesting one. Uh, they want 80% of Stone Cold Steve Austin to win. 20% of them want uh, Mr. Perfect. Uh, Rob Van Dam. They want Rob Van Dam to win the title. They want Ricky to win. And they want Chris Benoit to win against uh, uh, Jake Roberts. Uh, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. So they wanted uh, Chris Benoit right here to win. Against Jake Roberts, I, uh, I guess. Uh, Chris, it makes sense. Chris Benoit hasn't got a, a single win just yet. Uh, Jake had a, a one win in his record so far. And it was for the championship. <laughs> it was the one time that he won the championship and all. So uh, I guess right now. There's a lot of hype around that, uh, that pay-per-view, boys. I don't want to disappoint the fans. I'll just give them what they want. Uh, if they want Chris Benoit to win... I'll give them Chris Benoit, boys. It is what it is. So, Chris Benoit, you get the win. There it goes. It's the three and a half star, kind of. Not a really good match. We'll just see where this uh, leads us, though. I got a feeling like uh, we, should, we should probably get the win to the wrestler who's the most unhappy right now. That's what I feel like. All right, so debut package for Lita. Going pretty well. Uh, four star is going to up our overness. And our popularity right away. So that's really good. I'll help her out. We're obviously going to give her the win over the I Quit match. We don't have any stipulations we can really do. So let's just give her the straight win right there. It's face versus face though. Uh, but uh, let's just do it. Lita, you're getting the win. You're getting a huge boost. And actually a pretty good match. Yeah, I knew, it would, I knew these two would have a pretty good match. They're two great wrestlers. Uh, four and a half star boys. So that's a really good one. Up the boost and overness for Lita right away straight up. Uh, Ricky's getting hurt a little bit from that. But it's fine. Alright. So it says Lita jumped into Ricky Steamboat's. Uh, onto uh, Ricky Steamboat. And uh, a pile of electrical ele equipment below the ramp. Okay. That's crazy. They went all out. Alright. Next up. ECW World Television Championship match. Trish Stratus. Undefeated so far. Well, actually, she did get defeated. No, never mind. Uh, it's got to be her, her first match or something. Yeah. But uh, ever since I pushed her, right? She, she was my last person that I pushed. She uh, is a title uh, holder right now. Let's see if she can defend her title against Rob Van Dam. Uh, they wanted, I think, Rob Van Dam, right? The fans wanted Rob Van Dam to win that one. Uh, I'm not too sure, though. Feel like the challenger should have a chance at least uh, to make their thing. So you can still do the whole thing with Miss Elizabeth right here. So if they, the fans want Rob Van Dam to win, right? There is something I can do right here. Definitely. 
I can throw in the tile a towel. I can literally do that. I, I, I or I could do screw job. I could literally do screw job uh, finish. But uh, I, I think I'm gonna throw in the towel. So manager throws in the towel for their client, causing them to lose. So I'm gonna do that. I'm definitely gonna do that, boy. So uh, Miss Elizabeth's gonna throw in the towel, uh, effectively rendering the match uh, done for Trish Stratus, which uh, basically puts still puts her over, right? It's not her. It's not gonna be her fault if she loses and everything. So she's still gonna be uh, having some popularity off of that so let's give the win to Rob Van Dam right here boom just like that throw in the towel it actually upgraded a little bit the match somehow the match wasn't that good uh, a three and a half star only and that's uh, with the throw in the towel thing so we got a new champ I guess we're starting the feud with a brand new champ boys uh, so Rob Van Dam the new one uh, did it hurt Rish Morale changed uh, changed by 15%. So she went from 100 to 85%. That's fine. Uh, boost. Popularity. Did she go up? She did go up in popularity still though. She she still goes up. So that that didn't hurt, us, uh, hurt her at all, boys. The throw in the towel actually helped her out. Which is exactly what I was intending on doing. So that's good. Uh, what about uh, Stone Cold? Versus Kurt Enning. I think they wanted Stone Cold to win, right? Uh, the fans wanted Stone Cold to win. Now, the problem is Kurt Kurt needs to win a match, man. He hasn't won a single match yet. Uh, I think... Yes, uh, Stone Cold already won a match. But, uh, yeah, per Mr. Perfect needs to win there. He's really super unhappy right now. And if he goes to another company and he's unhappy with me, I'm going to have to accept because he's unhappy. This is one of my rules I'm going to give myself, boys. So I got to, I don't know. I got to be careful here. I don't want to lose Mr. Perfect. He's a great wrestler. But uh, fans want Stone Cold to win. So, you know, you got to uh, you gotta give uh, the fans what they want, boys. Give the fans what they want. They want Stone Cold to win. It is what it is. And they're both getting a uh, popularity boost and over nurse boost. Because it was a good match. So that's fantastic. That's really good. Now, I don't know if Kurt's going to be unhappy. It doesn't. It didn't go down. His happiness didn't go down. So, that's good. That's fine by me right there. And uh, last, last but not least, main event package. Five-star main event package. That's going to help out the main event a, a, a lot. Especially since it's a blow-off. It's the end of the feud. They wanted Sting to win the title right here. So, we'll give them what they want. Uh, Ric Flair is undefeated, boys. By the way, he's four, uh, four wins, no, def uh, no losses. But it, uh, I guess the fans want him to lose now. I think I already did the screw job thing, right? I could always do by any means. A face goes to extreme la lengths to in order to win. Uh, hot feud, face winner. So the face turns heel. So that would mean the sting would turn heel. But he would win the match, right? He would do everything and turn in heel just to win the match. I think that it's going to upgrade the rating boost and everything. I want. I kind of want to do that. Let's do it, boys. Uh, Ric Flair is a neutral. Sting is a face. Let's just bring uh, Sting as a heel right here. Boom. Just like that. Sting becomes a heel by basically doing everything in his possible mind to beat up uh, Ric Flair. Ric Flair had some blood on him as well. So that's perfect. A perfect blow off right there. A five star, I think. Yeah, five and a half star match with the any means. Um, boost right here so that's it's fantastic boys really good end to the pay-per-view and that's going to boost it up to a four and a half star pay-per-view really good pretty good boys so we're still having some good stuff pay-per-view goes up overall and our popularity goes to reputation five just like that uh that just means we gained a lot of fans from that right yeah we gained uh we had the second, the second biggest pay-per-view uh, pay of the month uh, right after WWF, boys. So that's fantastic. We had uh, 2K more than WCW. We're actually moving on quickly right now because we, we just gained 50, 50K fans just like that. And uh, WWF keeps losing fans, though. 80, uh, minus 80, uh, 80K. Good Lord. Well, I... Um, uh, I'm I'm just lucky to not be them, I guess. 
Right, so I wanted to remind you that I still have to uh, the following goals to the current year. So I have Jake Roberts win a major battle royale. Now they still want me to do that, but I'm not going to do that. I don't know why uh, Paul Eamon wants me to give Jake Roberts a, ba a battle royale win, especially since Jake Roberts hasn't done much, except for that one damn time he won the title or anything. Transition complete. Paul Eamon transitions to a manager role. is complete. He is now able to be used as a manager. That is fantastic. Uh, I don't feel I don't need to upgrade him or anything. He's a manager now. Uh, I think uh, what is he? Is he a heal or is a neutral? So he can manage anybody. Uh, I think that's fine. I guess if he's a a neutral, he can manage anybody. I guess I could give him to a neutral then. Uh, who do I have in my company that's a neutral right now? I have Ric Flair and Chris Benoit. And I feel like Chris Benoit could really uh, have a lot of help from that. So yeah, you know what? We'll do that. Uh, we'll go into managers. We're going to uh, add relationship. No, that's not what I meant to do. Add relationship between Paul Eamon and Chris Benoit. So Chris Benoit, you're gonna have Paul. You're gonna be a Paul Eamon guy now, just like that, boys. So we got him as a Paul Eamon guy. That's uh, really good. Now that we think about it as well, because Sting just turned heel, we got two, four, six heels. Uh, well, the manager doesn't count. For me, the manager doesn't count. So it's still five heels and four, uh, four faces. All right, I think it's fine. I think it's fine as it is. Now, I'm still looking to find some wrestlers, but we can't do that until October now. So until uh, September next month, we can look into another wrestler. Right now, we're just going to book our next show, really. That's all we can do. We got 70, 700k fans. We got a lot of fans. I am actually intrigued right now. No, I don't want to do that. Manage. I want to go into company and stats right now. I want to see uh, where are we in terms of stats, right? Uh, do Is that is that where we got to go? I don't think so. I think segments, matches. Where do we go? Uh, job, companies. There we go. That's where I want to go. So how many fans do everybody have? So we're the third best company, the tools, the third most popular company right now. Uh, it looks like company style can be entertainment or pure. Entertainment rewards gimmicks, while pure rewards match quality. So we are the type of company that is pure, obviously. While the other two ones, the other two big ones, WCW and WWF, are entertainment style, which means they don't need to have good matches. They just need to have good gimmicks. Uh, so they have to need they need to go have good promos and stuff like that, but the matches themselves don't need to be good. Uh, so for me, it's just I feel like it's better when you uh, you're on pure because obviously you can you can move up faster. You're just getting faster, get good matches and stuff, right? It's much better than just having good promos. So that's uh, that's really good. We're moving up quite nicely. We got reputation of five, just like these guys. Uh, if I continue like that, I'll move up uh, towards WCW level in no time, boys. So let's go to booking right here. First thing we want to do. So we already ended that feud between Sting and Ric Flair right now. So see that? It's blue now. It's uh, light bluish. That means it's kind of cooled down. The, the fans don't want them to f wrestle against each other. Or they want the, uh, any feud to go against each other, right? So... They want them to stay away from each other basically for a while now since the feud is cooled down. So we got a Sting. Uh, who do we want Sting to face off next? I don't exactly know, boys. Now he's a heel, so we gotta we gotta have a face against him, either face or neutral. I can't pick up the uh, Ric Flair because he was already the first option. Uh, I think uh, we gotta go for the one that wins the most. So Stone Cold is the one that's winning a lot right now. Uh, wait, it doesn't work. It's not working. How come it's not working right now? Why do, uh, why do you defense the, uh, say that it's not good? It's a heel versus a face. Yeah, no, it's working. I'll do that. I don't, I know, I don't know why it's minus, uh, minus 10 alignment boost. They're, it's face versus heel. I don't know. That makes no sense, boys. Whatever. Uh, I don't want to add a gimmick right now. I just want to add a feud. So that's what we're going to do right here. We're going to add a feud. And we're going to do simply a new challenger. Or actually, you know what? We're not going to add a few. I'm going to ch change my mind. Because the thing is, 
We got a what we need right now is Sting versus Stone Cold. Sure, uh, we are gonna have Ric Flair in there, but uh, I think that's yeah, we're gonna do a triple threat. That's what we're gonna do, boys. So we're, we're, we'll do a triple threat afterwards. Uh, next pay per view, it's a fatal four way. Next one is a 6v6, you know what I mean? Uh, that's how it's gonna, how I'm gonna roll. So I did a 1v1 last time. Now I'm doing a triple threat. So Ric Flair, Stone Cold, uh, and Sting, they're the three ones facing each other, just like that. So that's what it's gonna be. Uh, now we're at the gimmick. I don't know if we're gonna add a gimmick or not. We'll see. Uh, Kurt Enning, so Rob Van Dam, who is he facing? Obviously he's gonna be facing Trish. Yeah, we'll do a fatal four-way for that one, boys. So that's what I'm gonna end up doing right here. I'm just gonna do a fatal four-way for these, for this one. So this is gonna be a big one, and uh, I guess I don't have a choice but to put these three guys to uh, against each other. So triple threat, once a more right here. So a a two triple threat matches and uh, I guess a, a, f a fatal four-way. So that's gonna be the pay-per-view right here. Segments production. Just gonna do the same thing as always. Do the main event package right here. Put it up right here. Uh, next up, uh, it would be to, I guess, production-wise, right? We can do the uh, we can do debut though. I think we can do a debut for Paul Amen, right? I think that still counts. No participants need to be recent sign, called up, trade, or current pre uh, superstars. No, so I can't do a debut, uh, debut package for, for this guy. Can't do it, boys. So I guess what I can do then uh, is just event. It's either event or feud. Kind of want to boost the feud up. So let's do, uh, let's do that instead. Where's the feud package? There we go. Feud package between these two. We're going to boost that up, boys, just like that. And that's going to be perfect. Do we want to have any st add any stipulation uh, whatsoever to these matches? Maybe. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if uh, we should or not. Let me uh, add a gimmick. It was a steel, a steel cell last time. Let's just add a steel cage this time around. And uh, what do we do here? Feel like uh, nothing, just a regular triple threat. And over here for that match, we are gonna do another gimmick match. We're gonna do on section right here. So let's just do that. And I think that's good. Just, just like that, boys. We're just going to do that simply. And uh, we're going to move it on. Let's just go into it. Wrestle Palooza. So these are the ones, the main guys from the cards right here. Interesting. Let's go into it, boys. So they want Rick. The fans want Ric Flair to win. They want Mr. Perfect to win. And they want Trish Stratus to win the title. So uh, they want the old champions to actually win the titles back. That's an interesting choice right there. I don't know why they would want that, but I guess it's okay. The feud package went pretty well, so that boosts the pay, the, uh, the feud up right here. Uh, all right, so they wanted... That's a fatal four right now. It's kind of interesting. They, they want Rob Van Dam first to win the title, and now all, all of a sudden they want Trish to win it again. I don't know what the fans want, boys, but we're just giving them what they want. I mean, at this point, it's them who decide whatever happens. So they're de they decide and... They decided that Trish was going to be uh, the champ once again. Two-time champ for Trish. Rob Van Dam got a lot of blood on his face right here. So that upped the, ma the match a little bit. Trish Stratus hit Rob Van Dam with a lariat that knocked his head off. All right. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, Rob Van Dam's morale is going down though. Uh, definitely going down. So that's not good. Now he's at 59%. Went down by 10%, boys. We got to be careful about that. You gotta be careful. I, these are the types of wrestlers I, I don't want to lose, right? They're good wrestlers. Uh, Lita versus Ricky and Kurt. They wanted uh, Kurt to win. The only time that the fans actually want Mr. Perfect to win, boys, is when I can't make him win because I'm pushing Lita right now. So I, Lita's got to be the one to win. I'm sorry, Mr. Perfect, but uh, not today. At least they're all getting over from this match. They're getting some overness. Popularity is going down, though, but it's fine. Uh, no, it's just morale change, popularity and everything. Everything's going on aside from the morale. So Lida's just going down. Uh, it's going up, boys. Still undefeated, of course. So getting a huge boost for her, boys. Moving her up. Main event package, last but not least. Five-star main event package. That always goes re really well. It helps out the main event quite a lot. All right, next up. What do we got? 
the triple threat. They wanted Ric Flair to win the title back right after Sting uh, turned heel on him. Right after Sting turned heel on everybody just to win the title. So ter- short term title reigns I guess. Because the fans just they just want I don't know what they want but they, they want something that's for sure. So Ric Flair I guess. Boom just like that wins back the title. He's now a two time ECW heavyweight champion. And uh, he is also, this is, that was a really good match. That was a five and a half star match once again, boys. And that was without any bonuses or whatnot to the match. So really good. And Stone Cold is now uh, a, the face of the company, boys. All right, all right. So that's really good. Let's continue it. Let's see the pay-per-view rating. Almost a five star. Almost a five star pay-per-view, boys. We're going up. We're trending up uh, big time right now. We're definitely trending up. Extreme Championship Wrestling uh, it just continues to go up in XP. Everything's going right, boys. Just doing a great job right now. Uh, yeah, we keep trending up in terms of fans. We keep having good, uh, a lot of fans uh, showing up. You got to have good pay-per-views and everybody's going to keep showing up, boys. Uh, WCW lost some fans and WWF uh, as well lost some. It was summer time for them as well. Not too good for them, but uh, very good for us on our side of roster uh, roster members. So nothing so far in this month. Uh, now what we can do since we are in September, which is the last month we're going to do, uh, uh, last paper we're going to do for this video. We're going to hop on in. We're going to go to Indies and we're going to uh, go and see who we want to sign next. I'm still going to sign another girl, boys. I I mean, I could sign an old timer like King Kong Bundy or stuff, but he's a dull worker. I don't like that. You know what? We're going to add Gil Kim to this, boys. I think Gil Kim is a great wrestler. Uh, we not, we want, I want to add her. Uh, so that's going to put us at... Uh, let's, let's add her up. 275, just like that. Next month, she's going to be there. Uh, that's going to add us to uh, a third woman wrestler, just like that. And four women on the roster, so that's really good. We're just moving on in terms of that. Need the women's division to move up so I can actually create the women's title, you know. At some point, it needs to happen, boys. It needs to be a thing. So we got all of that done. I don't think I have anything else going on. There's not really anything I can do right now. Sting, was he... Is he a natural baby face? He's a natural baby face. I see. I see. He's a natural baby face. It's going to be hard to him for him to play the heel part. But uh, I think it's fine. We're just going to keep him as it is. Uh, we're just going to hop on in right here to the booking style. Do our thing as always. So first thing we want to do is the Ric Flair match. Look, the Ric Flair is now the uh, champion once more. Do we want him to go against Sting again? I don't know, boys. We will gotta choose between these guys. Uh, apparently, Mr. Perfect is still a main eventer. Ricky Steamboat moved up to a main eventer though as well, so that's really good for him. I'm kind of happy for him. I'm just gonna do a one v one right here. I need to start a feud between Ric Flair and somebody. Uh, I don't know who exactly I want to go for. He can go against anybody basically because he's a neutral. So I, I don't know who exactly we want to put him as, but a, a face. Uh, or a heel, so anybody really, anybody that's got the most win right now, I feel like would be the best option. Who, uh, whoever has got the most record in the recent uh, times, I don't want to put him against Sting. Already had a feud against him. I think Stone Cold would be the best option, boys. He would be the best option. So Stone Cold versus Ric Flair, that's going to be our next uh, feud right here for this one. So add a feud between these two guys. Uh, best in the world once again, unless we want to remove the feud and add a different one. Retire me would be a really good one, but I don't I don't want to do that because I don't want to lose any of these two. So I think uh, just best in the world once again, another one of those. So best in the world once again. We're gonna do a new challenger, uh, and we're gonna do a triple threat for these two. Now it's two out of three, so I think uh, one last match, and afterwards it's gonna be still enough so that we're gonna have to blow it off. But, but uh, let's go ahead and do our thing. So Trish Stratus, face versus heel. Uh, do we have a neutral in here? We do. Chris Benoit is a neutral boy, so we're gonna put him in the, uh, to this match right here. Perfect. Add him into that match, and just like that, that's done. The rest, I'm just gonna ask the auto booking style to do his thing. So we're gonna do. We're actually going to do quality match right here. We're going to do quality match. 
and uh, do the other booking. So let's see what they got. All right, so they added Sting versus Ricky Steamboat, better wrestler. They added, uh, uh, I'm going to remove the feud. I don't want any feuds outside of um, the championship ones. So Sting versus Ricky and Jake Roberts versus Kurt Enning. I don't know about that. I think uh, we need to add somebody. So Lita needs to be added up to one of them. So there it is. So Sting and Ricky Steamboat between the two championship matches. And that's basically it for this. So the AI didn't make any stipulations to these matches or anything. So this is the start of a feud. We're going to add a gimmick. Uh, last one was unsanctioned. We're going to do ladder match. Just like that. And what about this right here? Do we want uh, anything? It's a triple threat. New challenger. I don't think. Don't know if we want to add a stipulation or whatnot. I think I do. I think I absolutely want to add a st uh, add a gimmick to every single match or still cage match for that one. So there we go. Ladder match, still cage match, just like that. And uh, Lita versus Jake versus Kurt. This is just a regular a regular matches here because the AI doesn't want didn't want to give them anything. So but the championship matches are always gonna have like a a, a stipulation or whatnot. So uh, if, if it's a singular, uh, if it's more than uh, one person. So let's go ahead and go into it. We got a production. Obviously, we got to do our thing uh, as always. So got to do the main event package just as the usual. That's that. Next up, uh, who do we want to boost up? We already boosted that one up. I can't boost that up. So I think uh, all I can do really is go for the next event. Like try and um, and boost up the next event right here. So that's what we're gonna do. Event package, boom. So for the next event is gonna be boost up a little bit, boys. So that's good. Good. So that's uh, that's that for this pay per view. Let's go uh, up on in. Crossing the line. Next pay per view. We got all these guys. Let's see what the fans want. They want Stone Cold to win. So they want Stone Cold to win the title. So the title basically is gonna move around like crazy right now. Fans just want. Are all all across the board right here. They're doing all sorts of things. They want Sting to win, Trish Stratus to retain, and Mr. Perfect to win. They do want Mr. Perfect to win, but he unfortunately faces against Lita every single time. Can't catch a break, my guy. All right, event package, four star for the next event. That's gonna boost it up a little bit. Uh, I'm obviously, I'm sorry, Mr. Perfect. He's 0 and 6. He's about to be 0 and 7. The fans want him to win, but I can't give them that. I gotta push Lita, boys. I just gotta push Lita. It is what it is. Gotta push the best one. Lita, you're getting the push. So, uh, almost a four star. A bit of a letdown compared to the previous uh, match, but that's fine. That's completely fine right here. So, Lita. Uh, gets the win once more. That's uh, probably going to be her last time though. As she keeps facing against Mr. Perfect. Next one. ECW World Television Championship match. They wanted Trish Stratus to retain the title this time around. So they do want her to retain the title. Uh, I'm going to do that I guess. There we go. So Trish retains. Four star match. Pretty good one. Uh, feuds going up. But the problem is. Uh, Trish got injured boys so not good not good at all she just got injured from that that which means uh, I don't know I don't know how long she's gonna uh, gonna be injured for hopefully it's not that long hopefully it's not like uh, Eddie where I'm gonna be forced to actually vacate her title reign because she was starting to get a new one as well not good boys I gotta keep it there uh, Sting, they wanted Sting to win that match, so we'll give them Sting. There we go. Smooth performances, really good for uh, almost a five-star match, boys. Really good match, and main event package. Let's boost it up. Uh, really good boost, ninety percent effective, and that's for the main event itself. They want um, Stone Cold to win the title. I guess I'll just do a screw job, and Stone Cold's gonna win. There we go. Screw job. Stone Cold wins. Five and a half star main event, really good. So we had a we had another really good pay per view, boys. We're just uh, having these types of pay per views right now. We're doing great. Uh, I think uh, everything's going up right now. Let's do continue. Pay per view itself was four and a half star once more. 
an awesome pay-per-view for us. Uh, the problem, I kind of feel like we don't we, we don't have enough of a good champion right now. I don't know what's going on, but the fans, especially for the main championship, they just want to have a different champion each month. It's kind of very strange, to be honest, but, you know, I'll go where, wherever they want me to go. I'll go there, I guess. So do we have anything else? Eddie Guerrero's recovery from injury was help from rehab. That's really good. So Eddie's going to be back sooner than expected. That's really good. And we got uh, even more XP right there. So we gained some fans. 20k fans for us. Good. Uh, 20, uh, 40k fans for WCW. And WWF keeps losing a lot of fans and stuff. So it is what it is for them. And uh, there it is. So we got that. What do we got? So I'm excited to be here and I can't wait to get started. So we got Gail Kim, sign up. She's on our roster. Uh, I've come down with a bad uh, case of flu. I don't know who that is. Hugo Adams. I don't know who that is, boys. Injury uh, rehab. So he he's going to be back in four months now uh, for Eddie. Vince McMahon, that was a pretty good show for, uh, from the bottom. I think you can do better. Maybe you could do even come up to our level. I don't want to be rude, Vince, but... You're losing fans. You're losing up to 60 to 80k fans every month. And you're telling me how to run my show? Maybe you should look at yourself first, my guy. You're the one who's losing fans right now. I'm 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 just gaining. I don't know what Vince is smoking, boys, right now, but I feel like uh he's on another planet or something. All right, let's figure it out. All right, it's not too bad. I don't need to vacate our title at all, boys. Eddie's back for... In one month, he's going to be back. And Trish is going to be back in two months. That's fine. That's fine. So we're just not going to have for two months... We're not going to have a, a television championship match or anything. So that's, that's fine by me. Right now, we moved up by probably at least um, 150k fans more than we had already. We're moving up quite quickly in terms of the company, boys. And uh, hopefully soon enough, we'll be able to uh, surpass WCW uh, level and stuff. So remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.